People living in a neighborhood on Cleveland's east side say after multiple shootings, they've had enough. It's been a truly brutal, awful couple of days. Multiple shootings, an innocent man dead. Some are saying the fight to take their neighborhood back begins tonight. Cleveland 19's Damon Maloney getting answers for us. Damon. Brian and Tia, there is a uh, community event happening here tonight and a vigil for one of those uh, victims killed in the weekend shooting, 15-year-old Taiwan Car Cortez Johnson. I just got off the phone with one of the organizers. He is with the organization Peace in the Hood. They were asked by the Johnson family to organize this rally and vigil. It's taking place at the Woodhill Community Center on Baldwin Road. It's going to start at 530. That's when that assembly is going to gather. Community activists, teenagers, family members, and others and then the vigil and rally begins at 6 o'clock. And this is really all about having a conversation about gun violence and making right choices in life. Activists are expected to talk and have a dialogue with teens about gangs and the fact that lives are at stake. This past weekend, we saw three shootings, three, or I should say three teenagers killed in shootings, and a Cleveland State University professor who police called an innocent bystander, his name David Wilder, he and uh, Johnson were killed after that shootout near 89th and Woodland. Mayor Frank Jackson and a man fighting for the job in the upcoming election are speaking out. It is about the availability of guns, availability of guns in the hands of those who are not legally uh, do not legally have the right to have them, and in this case, particularly juveniles. Upgrade our rec centers, upgrade our parks, be able to create apprenticeship programs, jobs, um, help small businesses sustain themselves so that they can hire folks. So again, that uh, meeting begins here at the community center at 530 with uh, assembly and then the vigil and rally taking place at six o'clock. And again, they're inviting teenagers, parents and others who are interested in coming up with solutions to be here. Three men were arrested in connection with Saturday's shooting. They all pleaded not guilty in court yesterday. And coming up in our next half hour, we'll get reaction from Cleveland's police chief as people come together and really try to find some answers. Getting answers in Cleveland, Damon Maloney, Cleveland 19 News. All right, Damon. Well, he was just an innocent man minding his own business when out of nowhere he was shot and killed. We are learning more about the professor hit by crossfire in the shooting near East 89th in Woodland. David Wilder taught at Cleveland State and John Carroll. And we spoke with one of his friends, Yvonne Bruce, and she described Wilder as a passionate professor. She is still struggling to come to grips with the senseless violence that claimed his life. You know, it points to a larger problem with random violence um, in some of the areas of Cleveland that need more attention. And there is a GoFundMe account set up to pay for his funeral expenses. At last check, nearly $10,000 was raised. The extra money raised will be used to set up an art scholarship in Wilder's name.